They, they, they just whitewash everything, the Vietnam era. No mention of uh, the Gulf of Tonkin, that in fact it started it, or anything else. And you know, the interesting thing about this is that my son brought this to my attention. He said, Dad, they don't talk about the Gulf of Tonkin. They don't talk about the USS Liberty um, to try to get America into the war in Egypt. They don't talk about any of that stuff. I said, no, son, they're not going to. They're only going to give you their viewpoint. You have to look at history on your own. You have to, you can't, these books are, are so subjective. I mean, it's not even funny. It's beyond subjective. Then there's this really freaky thing because, of course, the globalists endorse and love National Geographic, which is called Life's Structure and Function by Glencoe Science. Another freaky thing with these absolutely uh, bugged out uh, examples of, uh, you know, decoding your genomes, genome sequencing, uh, really exploring life and getting into all this... Uh, applying science to uh, uh, bacterial reproduction and other, other, other things and li you know, living things, you know, all, the whole way that it's going towards, um, you know, mutating and scientific methods, new methods, you know, it's just, it, it, it's not, it's unbelievable the, the way that they show you the examples. Look at it, I mean, I, again, you can't really look at a on the radio, but they're talking about uh, basic stuff here, but leading towards the, the this whole spin on the science on transhumanism and mechanics, and it just freaks me out. Anyway, so Rita Zelvier is definitely a company that should be looked at. Uh, it's definitely uh, one that uh, you wouldn't believe. They own LexisNexis, who is a data mining company used by the CIA, the FBI, um, as well as uh, the, the judicial system. Lawyers use it. Bill collectors use it to gather information to find uh, people that are they're looking for. Um, it's a, a data mining tool. Now they own that. They own Lancet magazine, Cell magazine. These are Cell journals, uh, top two journals for uh, physicians in the world. They have. They are. They own. Um, Variety magazine and other trade organizations. So the business, they set the protocol. They own er almost every travel book you could think of, travel magazine and location finder and industries from, I mean, all the industries. They literally are controlling what we see. Uh, and the company was, again, founded in 2004. Um, one day I, uh, I just happened to stumble upon it because it was told that LexisNexis came to where I work and said, I can't believe, um, I, I couldn't believe what he said. He said, well, we're, we're a very sm large company that nobody knows about. We're very quiet. We're secretive. We like it that way. And then I was just listening, and then I found out who they were all working, well, who, who used them and everything. It was interesting. And then I said, who owns the company? And they told me, Rita Zelvier, and that's actually how I found out. So interestingly enough, um, if it wasn't for that, I never would have seen the connection to all of these critical uh, pieces of, uh, of magazines. They own 15,000 worldwide. Now, there's only 110 or 120 uh, countries in this world. Uh, think about that. 15,000 magazines and, and journals and the top 1,200 medical journals. Uh, that is a tremendous amount of uh, information uh, to be uh, propaganda, to be uh, spewing. And then, of course, they own the television networks and they, they own the, the the, all, the, all the interests. I mean, all the, these globalists, the New World Order, you know, one world government, let's bring it all together and bring it on home people, are, uh, are all, you know, own the, they own all, what we see. And they, they're the ones that say we have to censor what has been being said on the, on the radio. We have to censor the, the internet. We want to close it down. Well, they're the ones, because we're exposing them. When they shut down our accounts and our, our Facebooks and our, our, our pages and things like that, and they do that, they're really attacking us the only way they can to try to shut us down. They keep us quiet, but then we just figure a way to come back at them. So they just want to stop it. Then you won't have it. Then you'll just listen to what they say, and you're just going to be a crazy nut. Radical anarchists attacked someplace. I mean, that's what they'll do. They'll put a false flag. It's unbelievable. It'll just be a false flag event. They'll blame it on the, 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 these people, and then you believe what you believe. I mean, before all this communication was necessary with all these iPhones and all these Apples and all this other stuff going on, and, I mean, it's very hard to, uh, 
to, to control a population and, and when they start waking up and they start realizing that there's something wrong and they start actually looking where is the problem and who is causing the problem, woof, these guys are in a lot of trouble. Now, you have to understand how, how they can have this vast control. I know it's hard to believe that a couple of families, you know, and, and the royal family, of course, the, who we embrace, the saxe coburg Gothas, the German family, the German Windsor family, uh, you know, Prince William, you know, uh, and, and uh, his bride, his, his beautiful bride, uh, you know, they're in America and everyone's, oh, they come to the West Coast, oh, land the, and the, the royal couple, you know, now the royal couple, they're going to make a, they're making a, an exception that, oh, they're going to change the law that even if they have a, a, a girl child, uh, that they'll be able to uh, be, uh, be king or queen, I should say, of course, obviously. Um, it, it's just bizarre and like we care about this and they pump it all on the news and they just because they because they own it they want you to you listen we are still really a colony of England because of the control just because we got our independence as a nation they enslaved us and even worse through the banking cartel uh, which is again the Rothschilds and and the English and 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 the Queen of England and her and her cousin Queen Beatrice of the Netherlands and 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 her husband uh, Prince Bernard Okay, all these cats, and then of course you know we know Prince Philip is a is a eugenist Nazi. So is so is Bernard. They're Nazis. They're all Nazis. They are. <laughs> in fact, the greatest Nazis, the most the, the best scientists, and all of that, they they, they 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 put to death all of the all the all the uh, the butchers and all the the the, the 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 people that did the dirty work, but the brains behind it. We we recruited these people. We recruited them through Operation Paperclip. We recruited them into our government, into, into our central intelligence agency to work on, uh, on all of these biological weapons and other, uh, you know, medical and, and uh, military uh, weapons and, and, and other devices for, for, you know, basically killing and, and destroying people and controlling their minds, mind control through MK Ultra with Dr. Cameron in uh, Canada. He did these insane uh, experiments uh, with hor horrific stuff uh, for the CIA at, in Montreal at uh, McGill University. Uh, it was just horrific what he did there, the Allen Institute. He uh, shock did shock treatments, but really like incredible stuff, like shocking people like a hundred times, and uh, you know, in like a twenty-minute intervals, and and, and uh, you know, then giving them tranquilizers to ease anxiety, and did all this stuff to like putting putting. Uh, uh, they had to hear looped music and and words and things put in their head and mind controlled stuff for hours and weeks. Uh, really crazy stuff. Um, if you have the uh, opportunity, definitely research um, Dr. Cameron, uh, Dr. Ewan Cameron, that's uh, E-W-E-N-C-A-M-E-R-O-N, -E -E Cameron, as in James Cameron, the, uh, the, the Mason, uh, the high-level 33rd degree Mason that is uh, so uh, beloved by the, the elite and his avatar and all of his, uh, his glory and his, his, his complicity to the... To, to the order. Anyhow, um, we certainly have uh, a lot of things going on behind the scenes that people are not aware of. And I know a lot of people don't understand or don't really care to think of it or even if they knew it. They're, you know, you got to break it down into classifications. You have people that when they realize it, like myself, uh, are just so overwhelmed with anger and uh, you know, bitterness towards the the, the 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 deception. I mean, forget about the the fact that you know I you know that you stole all this money from me all my life and took my taxes and did all these things unconstitutionally and you know shot me up with uh, God knows I'm probably going to get cancer too because I got I got these first shots of polio and in that duration of time the first uh, 15 years or it was given to 100 million people. I, I I'm pretty sure I'm. Um, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's uh, it's there, and then they quote unquote say the gene is in everybody. That's the quote unquote uh, spin they have. The cancer gene is in everybody. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, when it took me a, a, a very 
waking up was was really something that I always realized but never understood. I knew always knew there was something wrong, but I didn't know what it was. And then I saw uh, the film Freedom to Fascism by Aaron Russo, a film that everybody should see. Go to YouTube and watch it for free. Freedom to Fascism uh, by Aaron Russo, who produced Trading Places and The Rose and uh, other you know movies. He was a real Hollywood guy, and um, be, you know, became was a friend, personal friend of Nicholas Rockefeller, uh, until he discovered what was going on with Rockefeller, and um, absolutely uh, made the pivotal work on the Federal Reserve, uh, de, you know, showing ex exposing it as a fraud for the fraud that it is, and others in the movement, you know, like Sybil, uh, well, actually, um, that was Sybil. That's that's nine eleven. I forget her name. Oh my God! She went to jail. IRS agents uh, were actually persecuted for this because they they were investigated this themselves and said there's no law, and uh, they didn't end up not paying their taxes and they, they made an example of them and put them in jail. But um, the truth is there is no law and it is an unconstitutional thing and it's another big lie right in front of your face. And um, they will put you in jail and they will just take away all your property. Um, but hey, what do you know? I mean, after all, you know, they have bills that are 1,700 pages long, you have to read the night before, Let's vote on it. You know, what do you expect? That's what we have. So that's why we need change. Speaking of we need change, we are change, and this is Howard Nima, and we are change with Howard Nima on informedradio.com, giving a plug out to the station. If anybody, uh, has any questions or anything you could uh, Skype us on here I also have the uh, phone number I just uh, didn't have the uh, spot right in front and you can uh, call in at 772-905-3018 I cover a lot of subjects I don't really necessarily stay on one particular subject uh, so feel free to call in again or uh, like us on Skype, informedradio.com, 772-905-3018. All right. So I had uh, a bunch of news here, like I was talking about uh, all these protesters in Tokyo. Uh, the ongoing nuclear crisis dominates public concerns, and uh, sort of some people, uh, about 200 people, are uh, protested Saturday and they marched outside a Tokyo Electric Power Company which operates the tsunami uh, hit Fukushima Daiichi, uh, Daiichi nuclear power plant uh, and they got these people there outside you should see them they look like they're dressed uh, you know like just just you know like wearing chemical suits it's really crazy in Hong Kong and in Taiwan over 100 people gathered you know to protest at the skyscraper the stock market so even around the world, people are starting to make uh, make a noise about this. But again, controlled opposition. It's probably those hundred people could have been paid. Uh, you know, they're trying to control this thing and and put us into this. Yes, we will give you free health care, and we'll work it out, and we will give you this and that, and we'll do this, and you'll give away that, and you'll give this up. And next thing you know, we'll be in a totally socialist, fascist country. Um, where the where it's already happening. Come on, let's face it. We are in fascism, which is what corporatism is. Uh, you have insurance companies writing the Obama law, the Obamacare. Insurance people, okay, the insurance industry writing the laws. Same thing with the food, Monsanto. Same thing with the Food and Drug Act. I mean, these are criminals who have hijacked our government. I'm just I'm just absolutely sick of it. We got the CIA bringing in drugs, caught many times. Mina, Mina, Arkansas, with Barry Seal in the '80s and Bill Clinton. Then you have it now with Fast and Furious. They got caught again. Uh, Eric Holder is caught lying. He says he never said anything, but he said it on CNN in May. I mean, what is going on with these people? What? How? How can you not be outraged? How can you just not be outraged? I, I just don't understand it. It goes back to what I was saying a few minutes ago, and I, I, again, I get off track sometimes because there's just so much information, ladies and gentlemen. It's just incredible. 